everybody good to see you again i hope you all are having a great day it's super nice outside and sunny and i just had put the pool out for my son and um it was really nice and fun to do and so i am definitely feeling good today thank you everybody for all of your prayers for balto my siberian husky he is still doing really well he hasn't had another uh, episode of any kind of wobbliness or anything. He's been really sharp and uh, doing well playing and everything. And so thank you so much for that. And uh, so today I just wanted to talk really quick about, you know, becoming a new believer and being a Christian, it can feel like a lonely, a, a lonely life because when you first become a believer and you realize that God is real and Jesus really did come onto earth and die for all of us so that we could be saved, that, you know, you now have this new hope and when you go to, you know, tell this to your family and you have a, a lot of family members who don't believe, it can be really, really difficult. And for me, you know, I went through that too. And um, I mean, it's something you go through every day because your family is always gonna be there, you know? And so I just want you to know that, you know, you're not alone and that there are many of us who have had to go through this. We have, we realize Jesus is real and we are on a fire for him and then all of a sudden you have this obstacle to overcome whereas dun 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 what am i going to tell my family should i even tell my family what am i going to say what am i going to do you know they're going to freak out when i tell them they're not going to believe me you know and uh this is the experience that i had too was um you know i didn't want to say anything to my family i was kind of i wanted to kind of keep it you know hidden you know at first because it's kind of like you don't really know much about the Bible and you can't, it, it can be hard to explain to someone why you believe, you know? How can you tell them that you felt God, you have felt Him in your heart and you have felt a change, you felt His Spirit come into you, you know? How do you, how do you explain that to them, you know? And so it can be really hard and your family could look at you like you're crazy, like they thought Jesus was crazy, and you know, they can really pound on you and try to turn you away from what's happening. I know that when I first came to the Lord was, you know, when after I met my husband and I started questioning these things because he was a believer. And so when I came to give my life to Christ and believe, then it was this, this new task at hand that I had was, you know, how am I going to, how am I going to deal with this? How am I, how am I going to stay strong when I have to, you know, talk to my family? And my, my oldest brother, he was really upset <laughs> and he does not like Christians and, uh, just you know he said that he's read the Bible and it's all a bunch of baloney and you know things like that and when he found out he was just like I can't believe you didn't come to me about this I can't believe you would just make this decision and and Christian be you know Jesus of all of them you know why couldn't you have done been like you know Buddhist or Hindu or or uh, you know something else and it just had to be you know, a Christian or whatever. And I knew that he was just going to get crazy on me, <laughs> which is why I didn't say anything because I knew that he was just going to blow up. And, um, so it was really hard. And so it's going to be hard, you know, for you if you feel this way. And, but it does, it, it will get easier. The thing you have to do is you need to make sure that you surround yourself with other believers for one um and 
make sure that you have your Bible and you are reading it that way when your family tries to ask you these questions you know you have your your you have this knowledge from the Holy Spirit to give to them because they could ask you you know these questions about anything about well why why did all the why were all these why were all the uh, all these people getting slaughtered by the Christians and stuff like that kind of maybe going towards why will the Catholics you know and um, things like that and um, they could ask you hard questions and you're not gonna have an answer if you don't read your Bible if you don't you know stay in your word get closer to God so that you can defend yourself when those type of questions come up you know so make sure that you get in your word and just know that you're not alone and we are here with you that you don't have to feel you know lonely and and under all this pressure of your family you know being angry at you and making you look like you're a fool and crazy and you know so that's just what I wanted to say and I just want you to know that Jesus loves you and that it there it's not always gonna feel this difficult when you are around your family eventually they will just have to accept it and leave you alone even though they might still start messing with you here and there and you know my brother would just say how he hates Bible thumpers you know that's what he would call them you know Bible thumpers and I'd be like yeah but but I'm your favorite Bible thumper you know <laughs> like he can't deny his own sister you know he can't he can't just hate me you know so I mean some families will just stop talking to you and you know that can be hard too and but you know you have your new family now you have me and everyone else who is a believer you just have to make sure that you find us get out there and you know fellowship with us and you know i'm here for you if you you know feel lonely and and uh you know you need that that love you know we are here for you so um i love you so much and if you have any questions um, please leave them in the comments and if you know you want more help on how to deal with your family I am more than happy to communicate with you and help you out there so I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you soon in the next video God bless you Jesus loves you so much I will see you later.